So, this is what we're going to be working on today. You guys are looking at it. Yeah, a couple, uh, what do they say, Mantis Rototillers. Yeah, two of them, five bucks each. Yeah. I don't know anything about them. I don't know how long they've been sitting. Judging by the looks of this one, probably for a while. This one obviously looks in better shape. As you guys can see, the fuel tank is pretty destroyed on this thing. Looks like it's looks like somebody tried to fix it too at uh, one time. Yeah, and this one looks fine. And uh, oh yeah, the primer bulb is just completely just destroyed too on this one. And this one looks like it still works. Probably definitely gonna need a carb queen. I mean, yeah. You see outside definitely going to be cleaned at least, but you know, we'll, we'll try to start them. Yeah, at least this one, yeah, that one needs some work. But, um, you know, the good news is, is they both look like the same. They both look pretty much identical, so, you know, whichever one's better, you can salvage parts off of it, so, yeah. For two strokes, 50 to 1 gas. So, yeah, we'll uh, start again. Yeah into these things and yeah hope you guys enjoy the video let's do this we're all set up here got this thing elevated a little bit because i don't know if there's like a clutch or something that engages this when it gets to a certain rpm but yeah we'll look at the one that's in better shape first obviously because gas tank doesn't look cracked and it's got working primer this one also has a handle too where you can kind of lift it up just kind of you know, rev it for a bit warm it up these are pretty cool. Probably, uh, first thing we'll probably do is pull that plug off and take a look at it, test for spark. So what size is it going to be? Probably, this one's pretty common for a small engine. Pretty good looking. Doesn't look too rich or too lean. It's more lean, actually. Traction systems acting up. Four up looks like it also doesn't have a lot of days left on it. So I mean, I tried to do the spark test. I didn't like so like this ain't very sturdy. So it's wiggling a lot. It's hard to tell. So don't really know. I don't think it does. The kill switch is off. So I don't know. But we'll, I tried putting gas in here, I guess we'll see if we can tell that one. Test just by putting the plug on the the head. It just was wiggling so much, you just couldn't see anything. It's just it's really bright out. So the next step is I try to put some gas in the tank um, before we start taking crap apart. You should probably see if the carburetor does anything. Primer is not doing anything. Looks like whatever line that is. The heck? Yeah, we got leaky leakies in here. 
Over here isn't sucking anything. Let's see if we can. What is that? I don't know. Is that the fuel filter? Why is it sitting outside the tank like that? Well, I'm just gonna look around for a second here. All right, right there is how you know it's been sitting. A little bit of mouse nest action. Clean that up. Pretty basic. Hey, we got the carb out. Yeah, it's pretty filthy, I'm not gonna lie. It's our probably breaking into it. Give it a bath. Take a look at the uh, whole fuel pump system. That's what this is. Start cleaning that out. I need a new kit. Clean out that primer. Came right off too. assembly will uh, this sounds all clogged yeah it's nothing even pushing through yeah before we mess with this yeah we'll just kind of just do a one piece out of this primer finally cracked too and after I clean it all out probably the carb cleaner did something to it but at least it works now I mean, right before it broke, it was pushing air out, so that's good. But that might be good enough just to get it to run. I just don't mess with it anymore. All right, well, I got the carb all clean, put back together. The gaskets look okay. Yeah, these, all the valves looked okay and all that, so. Yeah, it's gonna skip ahead here to do that. So, yeah, I still, I don't have any primers. I mean, I have these, but they're made for different type of machines you know with the one with the outside primers this one's a the primers on the car so it's not the same so i can't get the bulb itself out either for some reason so i think we're just gonna kind of clean up around here a little bit put it back on see if she can do anything and like i said i don't think i think i could still try to get it running with it like that but I don't know. all right so just kind of clean it up around a little bit. Got the car back on. I'm gonna try to like put my thumb over the crack. Nah, it's not gonna work. I'll probably just try to just pull it and just see if we can get it to go. to go you guys can hear it just can't get to the can't get to the thrall switch in time. um I try bumping up the idle just a tad the 
air filter back on. We're gonna go uh, test this thing. Yeah, I mean, just needs that new primer. I think this thing's clean it up a little bit more, and it's ready to go. Looks like a good spot. What'd you guys say? Part, figure out where to put you guys. About right there. That should probably to work. Pull rope just breaks. <laughs> Awesome. It tills, it runs, runs good. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so, if there's one out of the way, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get that part. It's easy to replace. Just take those four screws back out again. Swap that out, and then, yeah, it should be all ready to go. But yeah, clean it up some more. Nice and shiny. It runs. You see, go take a look at the other one. Hey. Probably won't record much of that one just because you guys kind of saw how this one worked and stuff. And it's the exact same machine. But I'll take, I'll peek at the other one. He's got cracked gas tank like here at the top, so might be able to just might be able to get away putting a little bit in. But we'll see. We'll see though. We'll see if we can get the see if the motor's any good though. So yeah. Yeah, put some fuel down the cylinder on this guy. Yes, heard that. This guy will run. Just needs a little bit more work, obviously. Okay, so um, I got the car cleaned on this one. So what I did is I tried to put a little gas in the tank, and the bottom was broken too, so it all just spilt out. So I took a piece instead. I pulled the tank off. Took a, some of this fuel line that I had, just in my toolbox, and I just put some gas in the line connected to the carb just got coiled around there it'll be enough just so I can just the diaphragm did seem kind of stiff on it the fuel pump diaphragm so I don't know if it's gonna go or not but I mean it's that doesn't seem right hold on one sec all right it's all fixed and I just have to fix the choke but yeah I mean it's got gas in the line we'll see if we can get it to go here Sucking in any of the gas that's in there. Oh, did you hear that? Let's put my gas. Okay guys, so it's like, I don't know, a month later or something, so, you know, like, usually I make a video, happens a lot, and, uh, you know, I forget to make an outro, so, 
Yeah, and I've just been pretty dang busy this summer. Just haven't had a lot of time to, you know, do a lot of video editing and stuff. So I haven't really got to editing this video until, yeah, just now. So, um, you know, I realized I forgot to make an outro again. So, yeah, so basically, you know, I guess from where I left off, I, you know, I bought the new primer bulbs for the, uh, the machines and uh, yeah, the other one, you know, I just had to mess around with the, uh, the, adjust, the fuel and air mixture adjustment screws a little bit. Got that one like perfectly tuned in, cleaned up, and yeah, you know, fuel the uh, primer works pretty good. And, uh, and such as the other one, I ended up buying a new fuel tank for it. And um, yeah, it's, it's been doing well. And uh, yeah, I actually bought a new carb kit for it because like I said, the diaphragm was all stiff. So yeah, it's just the kit and it was pretty bad. So I decided to buy a new one. So we yeah, just got Yes, and now, yep, same thing, just uh, tunes the uh, adjustment screws a little bit, thing now runs perfect, and uh, yeah, does well with the new primer too, so yeah, I mean, cleans that one up, yeah, they all look pretty good, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video, and um, yeah, just comment below if you want to keep seeing more of these fixer upper videos, and uh, yeah, I got some other cool videos heading your way here, and uh, yeah, so peace out, guys. See you next time. Adios.